Hey, what's going on hockey players? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the perfect stick handling room. All right, here it is, my basement stick handling room that I put together this summer. When I say perfect stick handling room, I don't mean it's the best out there, but it's all you need to improve your stick handling at home. I got set up by Hockey Shot with their synthetic ice revolution tiles, which I will link to in the video description. They also sent me puck stoppers and foam rebounders for around the edge, which are great for keeping pucks in play and being able to work on some passing. My stick handling area is about 13 and a half by seven and a half feet, which is the perfect size for me. But if you're setting this up for a kid, you can definitely get away with less space. The best way to find the perfect size is to have the player stand in the middle of a room with a hockey stick and measure the length from a one-handed extension on the forehand and backhand sides, and then a two-handed extension in front and behind on their forehand side. And that should provide plenty of space for full movement around the body. The toughest part about working on your stick handling from home is trying your best to replicate an on ice feel. No matter what I've tried, there's nothing that quite compares 100% to the ice, so there will always be a small adjustment when you get out on the ice. But when you have the right surface and the right puck, you can definitely get pretty close. As you can see here, a normal puck slides pretty well on these Revolution tiles, but it doesn't match up to the Green Biscuit glide that has a more realistic ice feeling. The only drawback with the Green Biscuit is that it is quite a bit lighter than a puck. My suggestion is to test a few options and find what feels most realistic for you. For me, it's the Green Biscuit. When it comes to stick handling tools or training aids to add to your stick handling room, I'm a big believer in less is more. I'm not a fan of using the common stick handling tools that require players to pick their sticks up and over something while stick handling as I've found it to be unnatural. When we're stick handling on the ice, we're almost always keeping the blade on or near the ice. You can get a lot done with a few broken hockey sticks and a couple of pucks. For reference, I cut my broken sticks down to 28 inches, but for smaller kids, I would recommend about 20 inches. If you're looking for help with stick handling drills that you can do from home, I will leave a link to a video I made with 20 simple but effective drills that you can do without any fancy equipment. Or better yet, download our Hockey Training TV app, which is available on iOS and Android. Just search Hockey Training TV and follow along to the complete stick handling sessions I've put together. Although these Revolution tiles by Hockey Shot were made to skate on, I found myself just using the surface with running shoes instead. Ideally, I would have more room to allow me to skate and stick handle at the same time, as that would have the best carryover to a game situation, but while training in a smaller space at home, I found training in my running shoes pretty similar to standing in one place on skates, so that's what I've been sticking with. If you've got the space, I would definitely recommend an area that you can skate around on, but for most people that's not an option and you'll be fine in shoes. Just make sure that you adjust your stick length for the best carryover. To wrap this up, the perfect stick handling room for you is one that you can make work at your home. If you don't have the space for a full stick handling room, get yourself a portable shooting pad or a stick handling ball that you can use in your garage. Remember, any type of stick handling practice is better than no practice at all. Hey, if you guys enjoyed that video, do me a big favor and smash the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you want a free goal scoring package, let me know where to send it by clicking on the link in the comment section below. As always, train hard guys.